Hello everybody, it's Wednesday night and that that you are looking at right there is what we are going to talk about in this video. Stay tuned! <laughs> So what you are looking at there is the Alpine Stars Corazol Adventure Dry Star Riding Boot and why I chose this boot. And then we're going to go for a little ride and test them out. They are a really nice looking boot. And yes, I have tried out a couple others to get down to this. And I wore these things around for about three hours last night just for a comfort test. And they are incredible. So let's go out and see if we can't get a little dust and mud on them. And when we come back, I will kind of give you my rundown of what I think of them. Stay tuned. You fall down in some puddles or something like that, you've got a little bit of protection there. So that was one of the reasons that I went with the really high boot, the full size boot. They make a low rise version of this that comes up to just above the second buckle. But for me, every time I get into my riding position on the bike, which you'll see from my camera position here shortly, the pant rises up on me. So to find a boot that covers me, my ankle is about right here. And by the time you get a little wind on there, it was important to me to have a high-rise boot with waterproofing that was up a little bit higher for those rainy conditions. And it looks like this is going to really do the trick for that. I went out and took them for a little test ride, drug them around in the dirt a little bit, did the little stomping on some pedals and gear shifting and braking and everything else and I'm really happy with them. So one of the things I noticed about them right away and that is that it kind of it throws your shift points off so suddenly your foot fits differently under the shifter or over the brake pedal. As with any new boot you know, there's a little bit of stiffness in, uh, in the flexibility forward to backwards in the ankle. And, uh, and so you got to push through that a little bit. But as, as I went for the ride, as I rode on, uh, I could feel that loosening up already. These things are incredibly comfortable. Um, you know, it's probably been 15 years, maybe more, since I've worn uh, dirt riding boots. All of the boots I've been riding have all been road racing boots for uh, super bikes and whatnot. And so this is the first kind of dual sport dirt oriented boot. Now it's definitely the first 50 50 I've ever had, but it's the first that would, I would say is more like a 
dirt bike boot. Um, and the comfort of them is incredible. I'm, I'm, total, I'm absolutely blown away by how incredibly comfortable they are. And I can tell they're going to break in awesome. So looking at them, the, uh, this part here is all leather. And it's a really nice leather. I mean, and when I say nice leather, what I mean by that is you, it moves. It's not rigid, rock-hard leather. Um, the, the plastic protection for shifting and brake, you know, and for your, all your uh, levers uh, is really flexible. So you don't get, it, it gives you support, but it doesn't inhibit your movement. Um, on the side of the boot, there's actually really good support laterally. This, how, well, hang on, let me see this. It's good support this way. And so it allows flex going forward and backwards, but it doesn't allow much laterally. And so the support that they give is incredible. And it does it comfortably. That's the part that blows me away, is that it will, it will limit that, that movement side to side, but it's comfortable the way that it does it. So I, I would say Alpine Stars, you guys knocked it out of the park with these boots. These things are incredible. If you want, the, the sole on them is not real aggressive. You know, it's, uh, it's, I would say it's not like a hiking boot by any stretch of the imagination, but it's got enough traction for walking around. I mean, if you're out in like some really muddy stuff, yeah, okay, there's probably something better out there. Um, but for walking around, if you're on trails or whatever, like I wouldn't have any problem hiking around in these things. If I rode my motorcycle half a day or a day to get somewhere and then wanted to go for an hour walk, I wouldn't have any issue doing it with these boots. These things are incredible. And the part that's really surprising too is that when you look at like the bottom of this where your foot peg rides, um, you know, the, the grip, it's, it's just soft enough that it, the, the, spikes on your foot peg really dig into it like it's you get really good grip on the peg with it but and, and that's on the surface and then deeper in it's really rigid through about that much probably of the boot so it's still really comfortable to walk in but when you're putting all your weight and you're standing on the pegs uh, you don't get any of that feedback where you can feel that peg digging into like the outside of the edge of your foot or digging into your arches or something like that um man they are really good I have kind of a high arch in my foot, and I would say at first feel, they feel maybe a little flat for me. As I wore them around more, I don't know if the foot bed in there was adjusting to the shape of my foot or if I was just getting accustomed to wearing a new boot compared to what I had had on all day, you know? And, uh, and I found that after about, oh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of riding or so, I didn't even notice it. it just felt like it hugged my foot really nice. Typically, I wear a size nine and a half, and I bought these. I, I read a lot of reviews that said buy them if you're in a, if you're in a half size, go the size larger because they tend to run a touch small. And I would say it was really good advice because I bought a size ten and they fit me perfectly. I would be able to go up one sock size, you know, put an extra sock on or a thicker sock, and I would still be okay. Um, as far as the room goes, but running just a standard thin sock, I don't feel like I'm swimming in them. Like I, it's a good fit. They're a good solid fit. So I can't say enough good for this boot. These things are fantastic. You get a lot of protection right in that shin area and you don't see it really here. Um, but while I was out riding the dirt tonight, I got out onto the, to the gravel roads and, and took a kind of a two track Jeep trail through a bunch of ruts and stuff. And that front tire, I'm running a relatively aggressive front tire, and it'll kick rocks and stuff up like that. And I never even felt it. I mean, it's just the protection in here is incredible. Um, the heel cup, which you don't really see here because it's all covered with this outer, with your outer buckles and the support, but you can see it better here. Um, the protection that's in there, you can actually, you can really feel that inside the boot when your foot is in there. And it's comfortable but you can feel the protective nature of it. It really is quite nice. Uh, like I showed you before, the waterproof liner goes up past the second buckle. It is not Gore-Tex, but I didn't have any issue with my feet sweating and it was warm. It was 85 degrees out um, and we were riding along pretty good. Not riding real hard, but enough that generally my feet would sweat and I didn't notice any issues with foot sweat. 
Um, so I think the wicking material that Alpine Stars don't, I don't know what it's called. I didn't do my research on that before I started the review, but whatever they're using, it works. It's not Gore-Tex, but it works and it works pretty good, it seems. Um, the buckles on these things are adjustable. You can see under there. So if, you're, if you've got a skinnier ankle or a fatter ankle, they're adjustable, obviously quite a bit so at the top. Um, as you look into the size of that, you know, you see how much Velcro room you've got. Plus you've got, I mean, there's quite a bit of room in there. You put your fist in. Um, so if you've got big calves, these might fit you pretty good. And again, if you have really big calves, they make a, they make a lower model too. And that lower model comes just above that second buckle. So if you're one of those people that you've got a, a pretty normal size ankle and leg and then suddenly you've got this massive calf up top, well then I would think probably the, the low model would be the ones for you. But uh, other than just having to get used to the placement of my foot for shifting because I've got a different shape, uh, shape shoe on, these things are awesome. Double thumbs up. Thanks Alpine Stars. And if you're enjoying the videos, if you like the rides, if you like the reviews, whatever it is that you like, please throw me a comment down here. Let me know what you think about the videos and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it and stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching folks. Bye.